hair follicle stem cells. Let's talk about them. Hi everyone, this is Dr. Blake Bloxham. I'm here today to do a quick video about hair follicle stem cells, what they are, what they are not, and if they are available to you as a treatment. So this is a very detailed discussion uh, that could go on for a very long time, but essentially, uh, hair follicle stem cells come from two regions in the follicle. One is a region up near the, the sort of center of the follicle called the bulge. These are the true hair follicle stem cells. These are what are responsible for creating the hair shaft for sort of the continued cycling of the hair. The other area is uh, a spot called the dermal papilla that's more at the base of the follicle. Now these dermal papilla cells are not true stem cells, but they do have a lot of inductive potential. So many times they're referred to as stem cells. But these two areas uh, have what we call cellular crosstalk. The bulge stem cells communicate with the dermal papilla cells at the bottom. And through their, their complex communication, that's what allows the hair follicle to be the hair follicle. It allows it to, to shrink up at the end of the cycle and stop working for a while. It's what allows it to wake back up and start growing hair. And it's also what allows it to grow hair for years and years on end. So that sounds fascinating. Uh, wouldn't that be cool if there was a treatment where you could take those cells and inject them into the scalp and see if hair grew? Now, does that exist right now? Um, the answer really is no. Now we are actively working on this. We are actually in the lab working on uh, hair stem cell treatments now, so stay tuned. But as of right now, there are no existing hair stem cell treatments. However, that does not stop people from advertising a, a stem cell treatment for hair. So typically when you see somebody advertising uh, hair stem cell treatments, they're, they're not advertising, they're, they're not performing, I should say, or true hair stem cell treatments. They're not isolating and concentrating uh, epidermal bulge cells. They're not injecting dermal papilla cells. They're just not doing that. That's just not where we're at right now in July of 2025. Typically what they're advertising uh, is one of a few things. The most common is, is PRP, platelet-rich plasma. So is PRP a hair stem cell treatment? No, it is not. Um, despite what you see, despite sort of the advertising hype, PRP, not a stem cell treatment. The other thing that you'll see advertised sometimes is uh, stem cells that are derived from adipocytes, derived from fat, and um, basically inject into the scalp. Now, this is closer to a stem cell treatment, but different stem cells, very unlikely to do what we need them to do in the scalp. So that's sort of a brief overview of stem cells and stem cell treatments for your hair, which don't exist now, but uh, stay tuned, they might exist in the near future.